Welcome back to Let's Play Oddworld Abe's Odyssey. We're back in Rupture Farms, and finally, after what seemed like forever, we're going to be saving quite a lot of dudes, as the uh, directory and the wall is telling us. Now, if you have a good memory, you should be able to know what part of Rupture Farms we're at. We're actually at the end of it from where we left. Uh, before we start exploring, let's see if we can go back into the stockyards. Uh, maybe get a little bit of an easter egg or something like that. No, pulling that lever doesn't really seem to do us any good. Also note, we have saved more Mudokins than there are actually, like, that need saving. I think at this point we can kill the rest of them if we wanted to and get the good ending. So, we can't go back to the stockyards, it seems like the... Uh, pulley, the elevator, has been disappeared and replaced with a mine. But, for our exploration, we have gained five bombs. And while this isn't necessary, doing that was completely optional. Uh, it'll be very helpful throughout this video in our journey. I hear a dog. That's a dog! I think that's the last time we'll see something like that. Uh, it's a slog coming out from another screen. So we got another slig and slog duo. Of course, once again, this is actually not mandatory. You could just kill the slog right now, but we we could use some variety in our in our ways of dealing with people like that. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is you should not say get him when there is a Mudokin in the room, like in here, because the slog will then pounce on the Mudokin with no remorse, and uh, that won't be good for anyone. Alright, now we can get rid of him. Goodbye. It's very important that the slig stays alive. Possessing the slig is definitely mandatory, because the next screen has something that Abe cannot take care of by himself. Once again, nothing but just a whole kennel full of slogs. They're all over the place. I'm not really a fan of these parts. They're just not interesting, really. And we're back here. We did go here earlier in the beginning of the game, but we didn't do anything. Uh, at the end of this video, we'll finally go through and see what's there. Also worth noting is that Abe's laugh is a lot more cheery. Uh, that's because uh, we're guaranteed to have a good Quarma ending at this point. So now he's just... He can do whatever he wants and he'll be saved. It's okay. We're also getting spirit rings now, and we don't have to do Simon Says puzzles for them. Uh, making it way, way easier uh, to do a thing. Uh, usually, I'm guessing... They probably realized, the developers, that doing a Simon Says Puzzle every time you need a spirit ring is not the most fun thing in the world. Which is good, because we're going to need them uh, a fair amount for the next couple of rooms. This guy, for example. Well, it's really less for that guy and more for the mine at the top of the ledger there. Uh, we need to get through that mine. Ooh, okay. Now, as you see, we're kind of backtracking through, uh, you know, places where we used to be. But things are a lot more different in terms of, like, design of where structures are laid out, uh, items. And I think that makes this whole visitation, that's a really fancy word, this backtracking really neat. Uh, I don't know, it's just like, I, I really like this part of the game. I think the game kind of slows down once you leave Rupture Farms. Then when you go back to Rupture Farms, things really start picking up again. Maybe it's because you start actually saving Mudokins in a large number, or you mess with Sligs a lot, but... Or maybe Rupture Farms, in general, is just a really cool place to be in. I don't know. So before we go down here, uh... Let's uh, pull the lever. Uh, when we were here the first time, if you went down that hole, you would actually die. So this time around, we gotta do a thing. Now you see that bird portal, it has the number 2. 
Why would it have the number two? We have not seen such a thing before. Well, maybe we'll bring two Madokans to it and find out. Follow me. Okay. Follow me. Okay. I've mentioned that we'd be seeing the trichle more than once, and here's the instance of seeing a trichle. You get it whenever you use those bird portals. Now, I didn't explain how to actually use the trichle in the last video. Basically, you can use it however you much, much you want until you use it in a room full of enemies, like this. Then the trichle will automatically zap things. Uh, while Abe is in the trichle state, he is invincible, and uh, you will continue zapping things until the room is completely empty. Once you do that, you can't use the trichle again. You have to go to another numbered bird portal. It's pretty simple, and uh, fairly balanced for what it is. We're seeing a lot more of these uh, slicks running in out of nowhere as well. Uh, usually, you have enough reaction time to uh, avoid them, but it's still kind of scary. I highly suggest not trying to kill the slick with the lever, because he'll probably survive the drop, and then you have to deal with two slicks on this one platform. Now this secret, or I don't know if I should still keep calling it a secret because the secret area music doesn't play when you get in here, but this area is where getting five bombs from earlier will be really helpful. Because we gotta possess one of these guys, right? Uh, but if you chant in any one of the rooms, they'll shoot at you on sight. We kill one guy, we can go to the top, and we can possess the guy at the bottom without hassle. First, let's see what's down here. Ooh, that looks crowded. Now, see, there is a bomb machine there, but it only gives you one bomb. So, just having a lot of bombs in your disposal at one time is already helpful. Alright, so this looks really scary, and uh, it is scary. You gotta be really careful on how this works out. It really just depends on... Um, saying look out at the right time. Luckily the slicks don't shoot you on sight, otherwise this would be impossible. Now see, I was gonna shoot the guy on the right first, but he started beating up a Mudokan. And uh, when a Mudokan's getting beat up, they can't really crouch for cover, so there's a high risk, much higher risk of them getting shot. Hello. This mine makes me really nervous, because it never really seems like you're that far away from it, but if you just kind of hide in this corner here, that should be enough to uh, enough distance to not get blown up by any explody bits. Don't get exploded. Explosions are very unsafe. Interesting that there is a slog candle down here, but we never really see any slogs in that particular area. It's just there for decoration. You'd also think with all the time that's passed, they would get rid of those yellow painting Mudokan faces, but I guess not. <laughs> now that I think about it, why are there advertisements for, like, the products that the factory is making? I mean, the Mudokans already know what they're making. I don't know, I'm, I'm going into observational humor territory here, and that's dangerous. Uh, let's just keep shooting dudes. Lots of shooting dudes. Maybe that's why I like this place so much, because you can just walk in and shoot. And uh, that's not a lot of brain power required. Man, Abe is loving it. Hello. Hello. I'm only just noticing this now, but sadly it looks like all the uh, message boards on the top that used to give you instructions and give little messages uh, don't work anymore. So that's sad. They're neat. Hmm. I hear someone sleeping. Oh well, this guy's gonna wake up, so don't even bother. Just, just let it go. As you can see, the pulley for that one lever is gone, so you can't really do anything with it anymore. You can't go down that secret, which is fine by me. I, you know, I don't like too many secret areas in one place. So I think these slicks will I could actually shoot you on sight. So be careful about it. And uh, that lever will kill a dude if they're standing above that platform. So don't don't be experimental. 
I thought there was a guy here, but I guess not. Nope. No. No. Oh well. Alright, so... There's gonna be times in Rupture Farms where the uh, bird portal is pretty far from where the Mudokans actually are, so... There'll be a couple of times where I'll have to be speeding up the video just to get this over with. It's for your benefit. And for mine. I like the secret a lot just because it's kind of ridiculously excessive. So we got this one slick here, he can't do much of anything. And when you go down to the screen here, you can shoot this one slick. But then there are four more slicks! I don't know if it's possible to actually kill all four of those slicks with just one slick. It seems impossible. It seems like it can't be done. But in any case, it's pretty easy to take care of them with a bomb. Luckily, thanks to the PlayStation's ultimate processing power, you can kill things that are off-screen. You can't do that with a Nintendo. Actually, I don't think Lorne Lanning had anything against Nintendos. Lorne Lanning, the creator of Oddworld. I just don't think he thought it was powerful enough. And then Nintendo made it really hard to actually put Oddworld games on a console, if I remember right. In the last console generation. But now there's Oddworld games on a Wii U, and that's super weird, I think. I don't know, I think that's really weird. The only Nintendo consoles that have Oddworld games are, like, cheap knockoffs. Here's a lever that doesn't do anything. I don't know why it's here. Maybe they couldn't take it out for whatever reason. Maybe taking it out would have made things buggy. Maybe they were lazy. I don't know. At least the grinders are gone, because the grinders are real scary. But yeah, speaking of, there's actually an Oddworld, like, an Abe's Odyssey port for the Game Boy called Oddworld Adventures. I meant to play it and um, try to uh, do a quick little bonus video of it, and maybe I still could if people want it, but it is really bad. It is really bad. It only takes place in Paramonia, you don't really save any Mudokans. Um, you just kind of go through the Paramonian Temple, and the controls are dreadful. I don't know how anyone plays through it. Oddworld Adventures 2 for the Game Boy Color was a little bit better. I actually owned that one. Um, it seemed more stable? Still wasn't that good. So this area is a lot easier compared to when we first saw it. There's no electric gates or uh, grinders. It's just, I don't know, stuff happening. And as I'm having some trouble having the slog walk off the ledge because he doesn't want to. And unfortunately, this slick shoots on sight. Case in point. So we're just going to have to spend another couple extra seconds to take care of him. I don't know, it doesn't do anyone any good. There's not even a... See, they took out the lever in this room. And that lever could have been useful in getting rid of this guy. I don't know. So I don't know if I've ever actually talked about it, but I use this method to uh, make it easier to, for Mudokins to walk off ledges. Uh, usually you have to do this, where you have to say follow me right when they're standing on the edge of a ledge. But there is a better way to do it. Although it's a little bit riskier, because they'll be running off the ledge. So when Mudokins are running, um, they don't really... they kind of seem to forget their fears about ledges, and they just kind of waltz off. So, when Abe runs, the Mudokins run at the same time, and uh, that makes it a lot easier, and saves some time. It's a speedrun tactic. Well, it looks like we've reached the beginning of the game. Do we just walk back? No! The developers were smart, and they knew it would take forever. Unfortunately, an electric gate is blocking our way, but... Now we can go back here and save all the leftover Mudokins. We've basically cleaned out everything. The only threat left are these grinders, and the grinders are definitely a threat, especially in that room. This room right here, because their movements... I won't say they're random, but they feel pretty random. They're like... The, they're separate in movements enough that it feels random. And those are all the Mudokans in Zulag 1 of Rupture Farms. That's actually 
where we are officially, I don't think I've ever mentioned it, this is Zulag 1. And now we are on our way to Zulag 2, which will uh, look both familiar and new at the same time, and we'll be seeing a new gameplay mechanic. Until then, this is Oddworld, we've saved 72 people, heaven is guaranteed for us. We will exit Zulag 1 forever, and watch this cool cutscene. Goodbye.